Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our death stream of Last Train Home. Um, thanks for joining us this evening. Um, I'm Veronica, uh, the community manager of Ashburn Games, and I'm here with Petka, the managing director of our studio. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to be with you again. Cool. Um, so uh, today uh, we are going to have our second dev stream uh, of Last Train Home, and we're going to show you again a bit of gameplay. We're going to start uh, right where we left off at the last time, and we're going to show about uh, two missions. Yeah. Um, but uh, before we start, I'd like to. Uh, make a little announcement uh, because today we shared with the world the release date of uh, Last Train Home. It will happen on November 28th uh, this year, so and uh, at the end of the next month. And we're really excited to share this news with you. And yeah, that's the first one. And the second great news is that uh, we're participating participating in the next fest uh, and that means you can play the demo of Last Train Home starting today, uh, which is great. And we're really uh, excited uh, about that and we're looking forward to your reactions, your thoughts about the game. And yeah, uh, I think we can start and dive uh, into the Moscow mission, I think. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, before we start, just a brief check. Uh, do you hear the the game well? Uh, do you hear Vercha well? Do you hear me well? Uh, everything's cool. Uh, the, the sound check. Hello, then. Yes, no, I don't know. Yeah, probably yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, loud and clear. Yeah. So that's let's fine, start. Fine, yeah. great. Uh, so last time we played up until Moscow and now it's the time uh, to give a try to the Moscow mission. Uh, I have a different version. Uh, this version is actually the same that uh, you are able to experience even now on Steam Next Fest. So feel free to give it a try and uh, try the start of the game. Meanwhile, I'm going to start the mission. There's no turning back. And let's head to Moscow. Moscow doesn't look too pretty. And as far we don't as I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't want to start the fight. Okay, let's start the mission. I have my squad already, so I just need to adjust uh, what's there. Yeah, what, I see four skulls in difficulty. What yeah, does yeah. that mean, Petka? Like, is it a hard mission? Uh, yeah, this mission is actually one of the harder ones. Like after the start, uh, when the first two missions were rather easy, as they were just uh, to prepare you for what's ahead, uh, this one may be a bit more difficult. Yeah, so let's see uh, what's going to be there. Deploying. Great, exciting. Oh, so... If it's a hard mission, uh, how long it will take? Uh, it really depends on the approach. Uh, I think that there are people who are going to take it. Yeah, sorry, I'll go through this after the casting. Yeah. General Morozov. Měl jsem pocit, že se opět setkáme. Jste klamár a zbabelec. Jak to? Zničit vlak plný vojáků na cestě domů, když naše národy mezi sebou nebojují. Dovolte mi připomenout, že jsem vám dal na výběr, majore. Když složíte zbraně, můžete si běž překročit míru. Je to víc než spravedlivé a ta nabídka pořád platí. Ovšem bez vlaku. A teď? Své jednoce neříte, aby se vzdala. Větě, že to neurobím. Věrný až do horského konce. To respektuji. Bůh žehne vaši duši, bratře Gazdíku. Co 
Sergente. Kapitána Langera. Musíme sa dostať do Vladivostoku. Zavraždili majora Gazdíka. Toto nemôžeme nechať bez odplaty. OK, uh, so as you may have heard, uh, I have the combination of the authentic immersive uh, voiceover and the English subtitles. Uh, the immersive uh, voiceover provides you with uh, Czech, Slovak and Russian uh, combination of uh, voiceover uh, and the subtitles are for everyone to understand. But you can select your own subtitles uh, based on 11 languages that we provide. Yeah. And as you were asking about how long does the mission actually take, uh, it really depends on your approach. Uh, you can either go stealth, and in that case it's going to take longer, or you can uh, go guns blasting, and in that case it's going to be possibly much faster. Great, okay, thanks. Um, can you please like uh, fill us in uh, about what happened in the cutscene? Okay, sure, sure thing. So, uh, the situation is that we are uh, in, in 1917, uh, where uh, the First World War uh, is waged, and meanwhile, uh, on the Russian front, uh, the Russia gets out of the war, uh, and there's, there is a civil war, a civil unrest in Russia. Yeah. Uh, so, in that situation, uh, it's really uh, difficult for the uh, Czechoslovak soldiers uh, to, to handle the situation, indeed. And as the, they are trying to uh, negotiate the journey uh, back home, uh, they need to make sure uh, that uh, they don't endanger uh, the whole situation uh, of their provisional government. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in, in this way, uh, the Major Gasik, uh, who's taking care of the last train uh, is trying to uh, provide the safe passage uh, but General Morozov uh, tries to uh, get the train and possibly even the soldiers uh, dead yeah. okay and so what do you need to do now uh, so my goal now uh, is uh, to find uh, Langer uh, who, sh who should be the attaché in, in Moscow and uh, he's the soldier so he should be able to provide me with more information on what to do. Okay. Uh, we already have some questions in the chat and uh, Jenny is asking what's the overall projected difficulty of the game? Uh, this really depends on your settings actually because uh, we provide the ton of uh, things that uh, allow you to customize the game. The game as it has two parts uh, may be difficult in certain parts uh, but uh, easy in other. Uh, so there is uh, two main parts, one of them is the missions and the second one is the management and you can uh, have the difficulty for both of them uh, separately. I think in general uh, the game is going to be somehow difficult always because it's uh, about the survival journey of the Czechoslovak region and uh, that wasn't anything easy. On the other hand, uh, you need to keep in mind that you can set it, set it up easier for you. Uh, what exactly can you uh, in the difficulties? Like, uh, there are different coefficients that you can set both for the management and uh, for the missions. Like, for example, in the missions, uh, you're able to set up uh, how much damage would you take and how much damage would you actually inflict on enemies, uh, which is a big difference, yeah. And the same goes uh, in the management, you can uh, actually affect how much does, for example, the food affect your soldiers or leg of their Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you can select to start them, for example. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm not going this way uh, because it seems like there's uh, the enemy barricade and I need to find Langa. So I'm going to go around. I see on the map that uh, there is the uh, bell over here, the alarm bell. Uh, so I'm going to try to bypass it and uh, I'm going to check here. Yeah, there's an enemy over here. We'll wait until they pass and try to 
sneak in over here. Pick up the lingo. Hey, they found him. Yay. Where is Major Gazdik? He's dead. Může za to ten bastard Morozou. Takže to začalo. Rudí šíří svou jedinou pravdu jménem jednoty. Z toho bude občanská válka. Zničili nám vlak. Většina naší jednotky tam zahynula. Musíme odjet co možná nejdřív. Je tu ještě jeden vlak, kterým můžeme jet. Tady je mapa města. Jestli se dostanete k tomuhle nádražnímu depu, budeme moct obsadit jiný vlak. Dávejte pozor. Rudí nejspíš vědí, že hledáme nový vlak a budou depo urputně bránit. Já tajně svolám svou jednotku a připojíme se k vám v depu. Počkejte tam na nás. OK, so we need to get the train. Musíme někam schovat. Let's see if there are some enemies. There are enemies over here, uh, but it seems like on the way to the train, uh, it's clear. So I can try to sneak this way. Is this your favorite approach to sneak everywhere, or are you using it just for this mission? <laughs> uh, like I'm using a different approach, like even more sneaky, uh, trying to stop kill enemies and stuff like that. Uh, but in this particular case, I, I like the way uh, to get around some enemies. Uh, but the fight the rest uh, because there's a lot of boom boom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'd like to avoid that. Okay, so there's an enemy patrol. Now they are turning around. And I'm going to try to get here. To surprise them a bit. Okay, like they were trying to get into cover, but they failed to do so early enough. Cool. Mm, we have different types of cover in this game, right? Can you yes. describe it a bit? Different kinds of... what? sorry? Cover? A uh, cover, yeah. Uh, there are two kinds of cover. Uh, like, as you can see, uh, some of the cover is heavy cover. This is this one, and some of that is light cover or soft cover. Uh, those uh, are really different in the mean how much pr protection actually uh, they provide to your units. Uh, so if you use uh, the just the soft cover, uh, then uh, enemies are still able to hit you, and you are still able to hit enemies behind the soft cover. Uh, if there is a hard cover, uh, as it was seen in one of the previous missions, uh, it's uh, much more difficult. Uh, for uh, you to hit anyone in the hardcover. Okay. But yeah, uh, here's some, someone uh, next to this uh, machine gun, uh, so I'm going to try to sneak in. And... Yeah. Cool. I'm going to increase this grenadier to get here. What did you use for the sneaking? I used the silent mode. Mm, what exactly does it mean? It means that is it different uh, from stealth as we know it? Yeah, like uh, the silent, silent mode is practically a stealth to some degree. Uh, it, uh, it makes your soldiers actually stop shooting and they just tiptoe around. So uh, that means that uh, enemies can, can huh? still see them. On the other hand, uh, they, they cannot be heard uh, as uh, enemies hear the sounds around and uh, th that makes it easier for them uh, to get around and uh, kill, for example, the enemies who, who are uh, not expecting them to be there. Awesome. I see you're gathering some fuel. Yeah. That should be essential, right, for this game? Yeah, like, uh, in general, gathering uh, things in the missions is, is essential in this game uh, because everything that you own is persistent. Yeah. Uh, so if you get something in the missions, it's critical for you uh, to, to get enough resources uh, to carry on. 
dispozici. Ano, pane. Postarám se o to. Rozumím. So now I need to check uh, where there's more fuel around. I see some uh, spots on the map uh, which can contain fuel, uh, but I'll uh, try to go this way. Okay, there's enemies, uh, so I'll just try to run away and use the different approach. Don't be scared. <laughs> like I have a good defensive position over here. If you can, if you, as you see, if enemies are attacking from this direction, which they are, uh, there's even a deployed machine gun and a lot of soldiers in hard cover. Uh, whereas in this direction, there's just a couple of soldiers, uh, but there's this static machine gun uh, that's able to cover this area. Yeah. So that's why mm -hmm. I'm that's trying to lure uh, the enemies here uh, into my defensive position. And those uh, soldiers are meanwhile trying to turn the, the enemies. Yeah. I use the bayonet charge for that. And there's a lot of fighting here, but, but it seems like everything's okay. Okay, great. Ah, and we tried to tank me, uh, but uh, the, the machine gun was able to get rid of them. Nice. That worked out well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I have enough fuel uh, for departing and I see that there are some enemies. So I'll just wait here until they depart. I'll try to use a squad here. Because there's enough people over there. And if, anymore. Anyway. So, so let's get even the scout over here. So I can check the enemy position. So what's the status? Yeah, the enemies are over here. So I'll try to sneak on them. Ah, th there's more enemies. Let's wait. Oh, uh, meanwhile, we have another question in the chat. Uh, Taco Martinez is asking, uh, are you playing mission from the demo? Yeah, uh, this is uh, the third mission in, in the game, uh, so it's part of the demo as well. Great. Okay, cool. So you all can try this uh, sneaking technique yes, uh, by yourself. <laughs> and not, not only the sneaking technique, yeah. Okay, so there's also the, the rumble style. <laughs> yeah. There's the enemy pat patrol over here, so I'll wait a bit. Okay, cool. The static machine gun over here really helps. It moves enemy down. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for t this patrol to turn around. Where are they going? They're going quite fast, but yeah, it looks cool. Now I have uh, two legionnaires sneaking on them. So, this one and this one, and let's see how they are able to kill them both. Okay. That went well. So there's even more fuel over here. And some metal. As well as more fuel over here. Uh, do you use the tactical pause often? The tactical view? I mean? Uh, I do. Uh, like, I didn't use it much in this particular mission, uh, as you may have seen, uh, but I usually use it a lot. Okay, so it feels like I'm safe now, like I have enough uh, to leave. So I'll just wait for if there's another wave of enemies, but it doesn't seem so. Yeah. And now I can try to depart. 
So I'm decapturing the train. I try to get it to a better position at least somehow. They are well covered now. I'll check it if everything's cool. Okay. And everyone's in the exit area, so I can leave. Yay! Awesome. Time to go! And I even managed to get the whole Alangros unit uh, here, so and that's some additional soldier to use. Great! Yeah! Uh, what do we have here? Assign medal. Yeah, so after the after mission I can uh, assign medals uh, to, to people who I think would benefit the most and uh, this allows them to A, get the medal uh, on the record and B, uh, even uh, get the promotion yeah, to level up uh, so I'm using it uh, mainly to level up now and I'll add uh, the medal to offer it as well yeah. yeah, so basically giving them experience points Yeah, exactly, um, yeah Yeah so, And that's uh, based on completed objectives as well? Yeah, like uh, if I complete the objectives, as you can see, I get uh, combat rule XP, but this is divided equally among the soldiers in the squad. Yeah, so uh, as I had uh, eight soldiers, that means 50 XP for each uh, for this objective, for example. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot for all, all aboard, indeed. And then uh, the medals themselves uh, provide some XP as well, uh, in addition, like as you can see, uh, the, the green uh, part is the XP awarded for the mission, and the bigger chunk is due to the medal. Awesome. Yeah. And I looted some resources as well, that's cool. But uh, you can give it a try and try to uh, sneak the way through or try to capture the alarm bell, for, for example. Like, there are different ways how to handle this mission. Yes. Uh, so. Great. Uh, there's a bittersweet farewell after the mission uh, because uh, we lost a major gas leak, uh, but uh, we are still trying to progress uh, to Vladivostok, uh, being helped by Captain Nenga. Yeah. So let's see some more videos that are between the chapters. Yeah, and I opened the uh, encyclopedia entry about the Czechoslovak legions in Russia. Uh, there are nine of, the, of those entries uh, for each chapter. Uh, it's, there is one, uh, so uh, you can then read something more about the actual history behind that. S naším velícím důstojníkem jsem se poprvé potkal v Moskvě. Bylo to v předvečer revoluce a město bylo plné strachu z občanské války. Rudí vydali ultimátum, které vedlo k násilí. Přišli jsme o majora Gazdíka i spoustu dobrých vojáků. Československá legie byla vnímána jako hrozba, protože jsme byli profesionální armáda bez jasné příslušnosti. Chtěli nás odzbrojit, zadržet a kdybychom se bránili, měli nás zabít. Jenže nás krvavé záležitosti té cizí země nezajímaly. Chtěli jsme jen bezpečnou cestu z Ruska do naší nové republiky, domů. A v skutku Tohle byly naše rozkazy. Dostat se vlakem do Vladivostoku a nalodit se na plavbu domů. Překvapilo mě, že mi neřekli, abych tohle tažení vedl. Navzdory mým zkušenostem z pole. Místo toho jsem byl pouhým poradcem a pobočníkem našeho velitele. Bylo to neslíchané. Ale tehdy jsem neměl žádný dobrý důvod pochybovat o naší prozatímní vládě. Z Moskvy jsme utekli živí jen o vlásek, ale podařilo se nám zajistit obrněný vlak na naši dlouhou a náročnou cestu. Hmm. So, uh, we managed to uh, go through the first part and now uh, Captain Inger is going to provide us with the orders uh, for, for the follow-up. You can see how small, small part of the journey uh, were we able to take like that that's some uh, 270 kilometers out of uh, over 9000 yeah so uh, the Vladivostok the goal of our journey is over here yeah so let's try to head on hey. Majore, informovali mě o vašem povýšení já jsem kapitán Langer můj služební záznam si můžete přečíst později přiřadili mě k vaší jednotce abych vám dělal pobočníka a mohu-li být smělý také poradce takže 
Přišly nám rozkazy od prozatímní vlády Československé republiky. Chválí naši hrdinskou oběť na východní frontě, která pomohla zajistit nezávislost naší nové republiky. Rusko se však oficiálně nachází ve stavu občanské války a naši staří váleční nepřátelé zatarasili všechny přímé cesty na západ. Abychom se dostali na západ, musíme jít na východ. Tímto obrněným vlakem z Moskvy přes celou Sibiř do Vladivostoku, kde dokončíme naši evakuaci přes moře. Navíc nám nařídili neplést se do konfliktu mezi rudými a bílými. Máme zůstat neutrální a nechat ruský lid, aby si své záležitosti vyřídil sám. O tom, jak máme zůstat neutrální, pokud by na nás zautočili, nepadlo ani slovo. Na papíře to určitě vypadalo dobře. No nic, čeká nás dlouhá a náročná cesta. Měli bychom okamžitě vyrazit a stavit se v penze pro další rozkazy. So this is the situation that we are in. Uh, as some of you may have joined us during the stream, I would like to introduce uh, Bercha, uh, who's our community manager. She, she's with me this, this time around and she's hosting this stream and provide me with a lot of questions. And uh, she, she's known on Discord under her nickname Very. Uh, so that's her. Yeah. Thanks yeah, so, 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 <laughs> so, so Duane for mentioning that. I forgot to uh, introduce us once more. Like there was some introduction at the, at the very beginning, but some of you may have joined us during the stream. Yeah. So please go on, Barry. You meant but what is something? Uh, I just wanted to ask if you could clarify what's the role of the player, because we learned that Captain Linger is our advisor mm -hmm. in the game. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the player is a commander that at the very beginning is a captain and now is promoted uh, to, to major uh, to take care of the uh, train itself. Like uh, this is the uh, fictional last train home, uh, which is the centerpiece of, of our game. And the player uh, takes care of both the train and the crew indeed. Uh, so uh, the players need to know uh, what uh, the situation, uh, what's the crew, uh, who are the soldiers, uh, what trains do they, do they have and how to utilize them in combat as well. Awesome. So after uh, the fight in Moscow, uh, we were retreating uh, in the new train and uh, Captain Anger was uh, assigned uh, as the advisor. Yeah. So we need to travel to Penza for further orders and that's uh, where the demo uh, that we are able to uh, play now actually ends, uh, but in the full game you would be able to play up until Vladivostok, obviously. Yeah, uh, we had another question uh, about possible endings. Mm -hmm. uh, whether there will be one or more possible endings, Petka? Yeah, so th the situation is that uh, you need to get uh, your crew to Vladivostok, that's the uh, primary objective. Uh, so there's just one ending, like the good one that you are able to get to Vladivostok. But keep in mind uh, that some uh, choices that you've made uh, during the journey uh, may affect the last mission, for example. So if you help someone, uh, they may help you in return in Vladivostok mission, for example. Uh, so there are some bits and pieces that change, uh, but it's mainly about the Vladivostok mission uh, than like changing the whole ending. Uh, and at the very end, uh, your choices of soldiers are actually going to even uh, affect uh, who's going to get some additional information uh, what happened to those soldiers after the uh, war. Yeah, so uh, there's a bit more than just the ending that's affected, but not much. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Yeah. So the situation we are in, uh, the hospital car was destroyed with the whole train as well as the artillery car and uh, we are uh, critically low on fuel. Yeah, it's, we have just the fuel that we've gathered in the mission. Yeah. Uh, we don't have much food and uh, the biggest issue that we are facing uh, that was mentioned before is the morale of the crew uh, because uh, yeah, like losing Major Gazdik uh, was a big hit and losing the train uh, that they were in previously is a big hit as well. And now they are uh, in danger in, let's say, enemy, enemy territory and trying to get to Vladivostok. So this is something that I need to uh, take care of. On the other hand, yeah. uh, during the mission, uh, I was able to uh, provide some medals uh, to a couple of soldiers. Uh, so they leveled up, so we can possibly check uh, what, what to do with them. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So, so you can like uh, decide uh, which attribute will yeah what attribute to, to improve yeah. So he's now a better rifleman with seven steps, and Magdana, the the healer, uh, she's now able to uh, heal more. And uh, she has the head down possibility uh, when she's healing or stabilizing uh, friendly soldiers. Awesome. So, I currently the situation is that there's a lot of points of interest in this uh, map Matthew, and uh, I need to go all the way to Penza. Yeah, uh, but uh, this is something that I won't be able to do in this stream alone. Uh, so let's try to. At least somewhere, let's depart uh, from the station. The long road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, will we be under some time pressure during the journey? Not yet. Uh, like that's everything that I can disclose. Like there's more pressure later uh, because uh, the enemies are going to be uh, following you. Uh, but at least now uh, you are quite safe. Like uh, you are able to handle your train, uh, your crew and uh, then eventually it's going to be even uh, some more pressure uh, from the enemies uh, along the way okay so now we can chill a bit <laughs> <laughs> not necessarily chill because uh, you still need to take care of the crew make sure that they are comfortable uh, and upgrade your train as well because there's a long uh, road ahead of you and you need to make sure that uh, the train is actually able to handle that so we should uh, increase the comfort and the number of rigging spaces, the storage car and the uh, main uh, locomotive as well. So I'll try to stop over here because there's a lot of points of interest around. And uh, when I stop there, I'll try to improve uh, the, the train and as well uh, send someone uh, to collect those things all around. Great, and uh, what kind of upgrades you can do to the train? Like there are multiple up upgrades. Uh, I'm going to get get to that once the train stops. Yeah, uh, but uh, the, the main upgrades that I'm going to focus on now would be upgrading the infantry car uh, because now I, I can improve uh, the comfortable living, uh, which uh, increases health and moral recovery. Uh, that really helps. Yeah, so the train stop now. On the waypoint that I provided, so I, I was able to uh, check what's on, on the track, uh, and I'm going to start working on this. More living spaces, yes. I'll try to assign someone to make sure it's done. Cool. And I'm going to try even this car, even more living spaces. Maybe you could explain here uh, something uh, about the shifts yeah. and the uh, daytime, maybe? Yeah, so uh, as usual, uh, there's day, day and night, uh, but, which is something that you can expect. Uh, and now as I'm going to stop the train, I'm going to unassign even the engineers and the workers uh, from the shifts at the locomotive. Uh, so they can uh, fully rest and recover their morale because morale is the issue now like we have some depressed soldiers over here yeah uh, so uh, this is something that i need to handle as you can see uh, the current shift is day shift and the shift change at uh, 6 uh, a.m and 6 p.m uh, so you need to have uh, people ready uh, for both shifts yeah So I, I mentioned that uh, I'm going to utilize the time uh, when I'm going to be uh, working on the uh, on the train and try to send uh, someone uh, to the lake, to Timberland, and uh, to those two uh, merchants. So I'm going to disband uh, the, the squad that I have already. And uh, for this, uh, I would like to utilize someone uh, who's able to provide me uh, with some bonuses. Yeah. So uh, the survivalist trade. Uh, it's going to help there and the hunter trait is going to help there as well uh, while they are not completely rest uh, it, it's going to help to get them there and I'm going to 
uh, complete uh, this squad uh, with the herbalist uh, so I can use that uh, all the time uh, to gather on uh, important places so this is one squad uh, that I'm going to deploy to, to the lake as you can see uh, those things are actually fulfilled so I may have some additional uh, loot or something more there and I'm going to send someone even uh, here I'm going to select someone uh, who's more fresh to get there and I should select someone uh, with the avaricious trade because that helps us uh, while haggling with uh, the merchants. Obviously, so let's try to see where do we have this trade over here. And yeah, that, that's the only one now. So I'll assign him as well and deploy. So, meanwhile, uh, there is a work on the upgrading of the train cars, uh, which which is going to allow me uh, to have all the soldiers that I have uh, in two of those uh, infantry cars, and that's going to help me uh, to make them more comfortable because I need to uh, improve just those two cars, yeah. at least for now when I have those eighteen soldiers. Great. So you can also fast forward uh, the time, so yeah. you can make this quicker. A bit. Okay, so now I go to the point of interest, and this point actually provides me with some difficult decisions here. Yeah. So uh, there's a burning village there, uh, so I'm going to go there with the whole squad uh, to see what's, what's there and uh, how to help if there's anyone And I'll help uh, with the fire because uh, the locals wouldn't be able to handle it themselves. How nice of you! <laughs> yeah, and increase the morale of those soldiers, uh, but they got burnt a bit, and I even got some money out of that. Yeah, and when I'm there, there's no activity available, so I'll try to get. Uh, the squad here to a different merchant instead be root and uh, meanwhile one of the upgrades is already done and i'm going to work on improve the comfortable living here yeah so the squad is heading there meanwhile the squad at the lake is fishing okay so yeah, so you have to like uh, control a lot of uh, things at the same time, basically. <laughs> uh, not not necessarily, uh, but this is the way I'm used to do it. Yeah. yeah. So here uh, I need to uh, get those people uh, from the day shift, uh, and uh, I don't have enough uh, cloth uh, for, for this. So uh, that that's enough of the upgrade over here. So I'm just going to get people from the third uh, train car here. So they, they can rest here and in the second car the same and the second car is actually going to be a good good car to rest uh, because it has uh, the comfortable living upgrade yeah, so uh, in case of necessity I can switch uh, people from uh, around the cars so the lake the report is ready meanwhile and as uh, Camille had the trait of survivalist uh, we are fortunate and it's going to help us to get more food out of that yeah and I'm going to try to well if I get to, to Timberland it, it costs me uh, two stamina to go there and uh, additional four uh, to handle that and my squad uh, when I check it yeah they, they should have enough stamina so let's head even to, to Timberland So I, I will be able to handle all those things along. Yeah. 
Like, awesome. it's going to make uh, a couple of searches, uh, yeah? Please go. Can I ask you uh, sure. a question from the chat? Um, uh, Taco Martinez is asking how many missions will be in the game? Like, there's 40 missions in the full game. Uh, and uh, in this uh, part, which is a demo, uh, there are six missions that you can give a try. And uh, the second mission that I'm going to play today is going to be something a bit different because uh, I would dare say that the best part about our game is that uh, every mission uh, is somehow different and it makes it, makes it uh, easier for you to play different kinds of scenarios. So uh, let's see in the mission that we play today uh, how different it's going to be from merely attacking the enemies in Moscow. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, as I had it to the point of interest, uh, there is the uh, can pay be neutral uh, event. Uh, so based on uh, Franciszek being religious, uh, there are different answers for him. And we can even visit the church. And there's a priest who explains uh, that actually uh, the, the church uh, was neutral uh, during the time. So they didn't take uh, sides of uh, neither the reds or whites. Awesome. So you also learn a little something. <laughs> yeah, sure. And as you can see, uh, being in the church increased the morale of the soldiers, uh, but it increased differently uh, based on uh, if they are religious, if they are communists, or what traits do, do they actually have. Yeah? Uh, so Franciszek as uh, being religious increased the morale the most, uh, while Alf Alfred, uh, who wasn't believing it much, uh, didn't increase the morale as much indeed. And now I have the decision of what I would like to take, so what would be the best now? Should I take food because we lack of food or just take nothing? We have plenty mm, of food. Probably food. Oh, okay. I don't know. 73 is not a lot. Is yeah, it? That's a good point. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I took the food and now in Malino there's even a merchant. And there are some consumables uh, that, that you can utilize. Like for example, goulash. It's going to not only feed you, uh, but it's going to provide you with more health. Uh, this is going to increase your fit, fitness and stuff like that. Yeah. As you can see, there are different uh, consumables that are going to provide you with different effects. Uh, like, for example, vodka is going to uh, make uh, the morale much better. Uh, on the other hand, right. you can overdose or have a hang hangover. Uh, so it's really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this time around, I'm not going to buy anything because uh, I don't want to go more into uh, the consumables now and uh, I would like to go to, to the second mission as well. Awesome. Uh, we have another question uh, yeah. from Jenny. Uh, uh, she said, uh, I'm now really curious uh, how long is the total track length? Are the tra are, sorry, are the rail lines based on real ones or was there some liberty taken to make the flow easier? Yeah, so uh, this is something that I'm going to show in a while. I'm sorry, because there's a new event that happened in the train. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> uh, there's some scratching happening. And now I need to decide if I want to uh, endure it, if I want to scrap the train, or if I want to burn uh, clothes and everything that can uh, that can be spared. Yeah. Uh, so I would go with scrubbing the train this time around because I don't want the infection there. It's going to affect the stamina of my soldiers a lot. It's going to increase the morale, but it's going to decrease the health uh, due to all the scratching that uh, happened. Yeah, so I need to heal my soldiers as well then. Uh, so as for uh, the length of the uh, track, uh, it's the whole 9,000 kilometers. Like, uh, as you can see, there are even some uh, turnouts uh, that you can take, for example, at Penza, you can decide if you want to go uh, 
to, to Kazan, Yekaterinburg, or if you want to go uh, through Chelyabinsk uh, and uh, the tracks rejoined at Omsk. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the whole journey uh, can, can be taken the whole 9000 kilometers, but uh, some of the parts uh, some of the chapters are longer, some of them are shorter, like the initial one was just uh, merely 300 kilometers. This one is some 500 kilometers, so uh, that's uh, 700 in total out of 9000. Yeah. yeah, now I'm resting a bit uh, because uh, there's a lot of tired soldiers, uh, it, it mainly due to uh, the Cabis, uh, which affects. Oh, and it seems like I forgot to finish this in the night shift, which is a bad thing. Yeah. So the comfortable wing wasn't comfortable enough, <laughs> and now uh, they are recovering even better. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the health statuses are gone. Even the fatigue is gone, uh, so I can restart the train, I go to locomotive, assign the engineers. Okay. And this one, yeah, would be the best. Okay, and now I can start moving forward. So that's it. Yay. Heading through the beautiful landscape. So poetic, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's actually cool to see how the train moves through the landscape. Yeah. Choo -choo, yay! <laughs> like there are different upgrades even for the locomotive for example that you can utilize uh, but uh, I didn't focus on that as I, I was trying to uh, get us uh, to, to the next mission uh, which may take some time to get into and then going through the mission uh, so the stream is not too long in the end yeah it seems like I'm approaching some settlement and it's actually Kolomna yeah the train is stopping there I can utilize the doctor, but uh, there is no one injured, uh, so th that's great that we don't need to utilize that. But the good thing is that uh, I can check the merchant here, and get more first aid uh, kits, uh, which can be used if the soldiers are too injured uh, in the management. Yeah, but I'll even try to buy some med kits in case I do something wrong. As for the ammunition, I think that I'm okay for now. I'll see you later on how, how that goes. Yeah. And as for the train composition, uh, as uh, the train car number three uh, is em empty, as the infantry car number three is empty, uh, I'll move it forward. Uh, so in case there is something in the way, I can just uh, lose the, the, that one and not losing the locomotive, which would be fatal for me. Yeah, smart. <laughs> It's the advantage of not having anyone in, in the first train car here. Yeah. yeah, so I'll try to stop the car, the, the train here, and uh, to go to those two villages. This one uh, is uh, no longer occupied. So it may be good to have someone who's going to look into the village, yeah. So yeah, the, the squad 2 has actually the burglar trade, which uh, should work well. So I'll try to deploy them. And meanwhile, I'll just uh, remove this spot. And I'm going to make it anew when I need it. And Petka, mm -hmm. uh, which part uh, do you enjoy the most from the two, from the train management and the missions? 
You personally, I mean. I enjoy them equally because uh, one without another doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so uh, in this way, uh, making, but enjoying just the missions would be cool. Uh, but the progression in between is something that I, I really like, like how it's all tied together. If someone's injured, you need to take care of them. Uh, whereas the management itself without the missions wouldn't work at all. Yeah, so uh, the management is the part that just it's a glue. It's, it's not the substance. Ah, cool. Great. We found Makes some sense. fuel. Okay, so what do we do? This is the boring. Okay, so I'm should sure we I'm... give him food, food or not? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. So I gave him some food. And here's the story about Papeka. Oh, cool. So here's a merchant, and there are more consumables that I can possibly buy, but I already mentioned that I'm not interested in them this time around. Like I not even be... caviar? <laughs> nah. Why not? <laughs> you need caviar when you're sure. in Siberia, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just go to region. Oh yeah, and uh, we saw Barbara uh, there, so mm -hmm. does that mean we have women in our squads? Yeah, yeah, like uh, there's multiple of them, like some of them are in less combative roles, some of them in more. Like uh, later in the game you, you will find, for example, a uh, grenadier uh, who's a woman. Uh, so uh, in this way uh, we decided uh, that we are going to alter the history a bit, uh, because uh, uh, in, in the history, in the actual one, uh, women weren't allowed to join the Legion, uh, even though uh, they were on the trains and they were fighting. Yeah. Uh, so as we went through that, we realized that it would be uh, better for the players uh, if they can have uh, women join uh, the Legion and climb, climb up in the ranks. So there's just a uni unified system for that. And uh, we, we would like to appreciate even the women who fight who fought, sorry, uh, who fought during the war. Yeah, I think that's great. <laughs> um, so we have a new quest uh, that we can fulfill as in the squad to the Red Military Camp, cool. But that seems to be quite far away. Yeah, it's over here. So maybe not now, but I'll try to get somewhere around here. Yeah, so I can go to the forest, uh, to the lake, and uh, to the rest of which steam mill and uh, Kimoka. So the train is running. Shoo, shoo. Yeah, now we can see the train as it should be, like with a train car in front of the locomotive, uh, which allows you to. Uh, get rid of uh, any nuisance like uh, any wild locomotive, like for example the one uh, which destroyed our train uh, before Moscow. Yeah. yeah. So I stopped at the waypoint and now I'll set the squad to he go here and a different squad. To go hunting. It's actually too funny to see our colleagues uh, in yeah. the squads because just to note uh, the names uh, of some of the soldiers are the names of uh, uh, members of the Ashburn Games Studio. Indeed. <laughs> and also some of them have their portraits there. Yeah, so, like yeah. 
as Dominic is in the chat, I'll send him to the mission. Yeah, make him do some work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we have the survivalist trait, the, the hunt trait, but not the survivalist. So let's see what we are able to fish for. And meanwhile, over here, let's explore. Oh, we found more coal. That's cool. And Alfred has a burglar trait. And he, mm. found, he found some cigars or cigarettes. That's cool. And some vodka as well. Great. That's um, going to help you us. Mean, like stole? <laughs> um, that's a different. Maybe like uh, the village is abandoned already. So I guess they are not going to need it anyway. But yeah, it's uh, really difficult to, to say like uh, what's the best way how to handle the situations like this. Oh cool, we, we found some fish. Uh, so let's try to get the squat over here. Oh no, I'll try to get them first. Yeah. And I'll leave the forest because we have plenty of wood. Oh cool, there's a pub uh, that can increase the morale. And there's a merchant. Which has a lot of food. Yay! Let's get the food. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Okay, I'll try to sell him some landmines. Does it help? No, no bombs? Don't we need those? Nah, it's okay. <laughs> food is more important. Yeah, now I have plenty of food. Plenty of tired soldiers as well. Okay, so I'll try to move the train meanwhile. Oh, I just uh, got into the obstruction on the, on the way. So what should we do? Should, should we stop the train and get it away? Or should I just turn it? What do you think? I would stop the train. <laughs> yeah, that definitely makes sense. Mm. And it affects the morale of my soldiers as well. Like uh, those who are carrying, uh, their morale increases. Whereas uh, those who are ruthless, uh, for example, their morale decreases. Or those who are careless. Oh, I see. Makes yeah. sense. So I'll just remove the blockade. So what I found here. Ah, additional coal. That's great. I found a lot of coal recently. So I have a plenty. Cool. So. Uh, we have a question from yes, the chat. Um, uh, from Lord Turvo. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, what is a faster mode in locomotive? Uh, what is it for when you can speed up the time? Yeah, uh, so speeding up the time uh, may not be sufficient sometimes because sometimes you need uh, to reach some uh, cities or uh, some goals in time. And if you are on overdrive speed, uh, there is a threat level later on uh, that's di that dictates how many enemies are trying to get you. And uh, when you are trying to outrun them, obviously the threat level decreases faster. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's the benefit, uh, that are the benefits of the overdrive speed. Yeah. So my waypoint here is now useless. I forgot to put it away and I can continue to a different uh, settlement. Okay. So Langer is approaching me. Come in, no need to be so formal. 
Ah. Okay. We can help the locals. Okay. So let's give it a try. There's even a handy uh, village around. Okay, he's departing without salting. Okay. Not much for the friendly approach. But yeah. Mm. We have Cherno over here. So, is there anyone in Cherno? I'll disband the squads and create a new one for fighting. And we see one skull, that means it will be easier mission than the Moscow mission. It's meant to be easier. If it is really easier, that only the time would tell. <laughs> yeah, I stole the landmine, so I don't have it. Okay, so... Yeah, because you sold the landmine. Yeah, yeah indeed. <laughs> But who would need uh, mines on the mission where the goal is to help? Hmm, you don't ever know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. I'd rather put there the full squad, just to be sure. Yeah, and based on what do you decide, how many soldiers will you take to the mission? Like, I usually take more than necessary. Uh, because I'm rather uh, safe than sorry, uh, but uh, it really depends on the situation in, in the train. Yeah, so uh, when there is uh, too many people wounded, uh, when there is too many people tired, uh, then it's uh, usually better to not send that, that many soldiers. But in this situation, uh, where it seems like every, everything is cool, uh, I'll try to send rather a bigger squad to make sure that I'm uh, well prepared. Yeah, but it also means they will get um, more tired, like yeah. less, less and, and less XP. Experience. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the help is on the way. Okay, they don't want any trouble. That's great. Okay, they are suspicious, obviously. Okay, some repairs. That, that, that's cool. Sounds great. So let's start the mission. Yeah, let's help them. Hey. Not well, this we way. can. Tolik práce. Je tu plot, pár beden, pár vlků. Vlci? Co dělej? Baba Yaga? Ha, to je fuk. Zvládneme všetko. Okay. So, there's multiple objectives over here. So I try to get them done all in time. Ah, there's even some uh, resources that I can utilize. That's great. Ano. Podívám se. Připraven. Tak se podíváme, co tam je. Okay. It looks safe around. So first we will go fix some fences, I see. Yeah, I ought to try to handle the crates first. Oh. Okay. Because that should be easy. Meanwhile, the, the rest of the unit is just going to be here, just to be sure. Okay. This is cool. One more. Ano, tak já to vypáčím. Už tu. 
Okay. So, this is handled. Poslouchám. Yeah, here I'm going to get the repair kit. Cool. Poslouchá, postarám se o to. Ano? Postarám se o to, pane. Rozkazy, pane. Jasná věc. Připravíš, ano, pane. Tak, hotovo. Máme tři třísky, dva bolavé palce a Máme tři třísky, dva bolavé palce a jedno pohmožděné sebevědomí. Na budouce budeš držet klince a kladivo si vezmem já. Ano. Ano, okay. pane. So we need to bring water to the church. Pane? Ano, pane. I'm going to have the truck to the squat over here just to be sure. Vaše rozkazy postarám se o to. Ano, pane. Okay. So we need to get to the church now. With the water. That water looks heavy. <laughs> Yay. Indeed. Hledám kryt. Som tu. Co se je? Ano. Overím pozíciu. Okay. It looks cool. Tu na pozici. Yeah, uh, I feel like we didn't talk much Som about tu. the skills and the profession. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So could you say a bit more about that? Or? Sure. Like there are five combat professions uh, and they have different skills uh, depending on the levels uh, that of the soldiers. So for example, this is the rifleman and now you cannot see what, what does he have for a skill, but it's a bandit charge. Uh, so they can change, they, they can charge the enemy and attack them even uh, behind cover, for example. The medic, that's self-explanatory, uh, they are able to heal and uh, they have even some passive skills and later on they can even use for example sleep fasts yeah uh, and i have a bunch of skulls over here uh, who are able to recon to, to see what's happening to uncover the book of war and the grenadiers that's uh, self-explanatory indeed uh, they throw grenades and the mission guns they are going uh, they're able to uh, do the focused fire or even suppressive fire. Yeah. Uh, do you have some favorite profession? Uh, I really like uh, the Scots because they are able to uh, tell me what's ahead. So I, I can prepare uh, for the situation and uh, in case of emergency, uh, when I'm prepared, I know what to do. Bůh vám žehnej, legionáři, jako ve své nekonečné moudrosti žehná této vodě. Cool, we got the blessing. And even a key. Našla jsem klíč. Okay. Rozumím. It seems like a gift. So we are going to utilize the key to get more resources because resources are dearly needed on the train. Ano. I don't know what they used to handgun. Mo4 next to the church, but hopefully it's going to help. Okay. You will well, no. just start there. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> sure. So we need to complete the last objective. Yeah, exactly. We, we just need to help with the wolves. Sounds scary. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm, I'm slowly getting there. And once I'm close enough, I'm going to use my scouts. Ano? Tak se podíváme, co tam je. Cool. Vaše rozkazy, pane. Over here. Ah, there are some wolves. Okay, there are wolves, and there is even the alpha wolf, uh, who's going to be mm. more difficult. Okay, so and as you can see, uh, they see all around, so there's no seeking around them. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I try to prepare. Ano? Tutto può oye. Pripra ano pade. Well. As the rifleman is uh, cool. They're heading for me already. Yeah, I'm trying to get the auto walk done because when he's gone, oh, cool. Hmm. They were close. <laughs> musíme najít jednoho z vesničanů. Měl se vrátit už před pár hodinami, ale nikdo ho nemůže najít. Vlkou jsme už zabili. Jen ty čtyř nohé. That's strange. Rozumím. Okay. There's a witch tower over here, so I'll try to get there. Poslouchám. Podívám se, co tam je. Okay, the witch tower stands. Looks secure. But what Barbara says sounded ominous, so... So I'm going to get the watchtower to see what's happening. Okay. It seems like it's not just the wolves here. Oh. Jsou to divoká zvířata. Dvounozí vlci s červenou srstí. Jejich dílo už jsme viděli. Chtějí všechny zabít a vypálit vesnici. Neopravil jsem ten plodlem preto, aby zhorel. Dajte mi pár granátů alebo guľomet a já červeným ukážem. OK, so this looks like there's a lot of enemies. And... Yeah, <laughs> a lot of them. A lot of them. Uh, so I'll try to... Uh, divide my team into two small teams uh, and try to get them over here to get a bit of grenadier, the rifleman, and the rest of the team is going to go for the village because I need to secure both the church and the village itself. So I'll try to round down, down here. Like the machine gun on its own can uh, hold a lot of enemies. Okay. And here, okay, there's a, one building that I need to protect. So I'll try to get here, I'll to get some cover. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to be there on time to save even the villagers. Okay, so how about those? A well placed grenade may, may help a lot. Okay, so how, how about those ones? Uh, I'm going to get over here. So the enemies don't know about me yet. Okay. This is too far for grenade. How about this situation? Okay. I was too late with the grenade over here. But... Okay. At least you tried. <laughs> Yay. Okay, a lot of, lot of enemies over here. I tried to hit at least someone. Okay, they tried to run away from the grenade. Some of them succeed some of them not uh, and meanwhile i try to what's it gonna do over here okay. i'll try to take those as well and try to encircle the enemies but i'm not sure if i'm able to be fast enough so those are those enemies are in cover uh, so those are harder to hit I'm going to use another grenade for that. Meanwhile, I'm going to attack this one. Okay, so that one's dead. That's cool. The grenade helped as well. And how about the second part of my squad? 
because the Pripravený. this one can help a lot with uh, that's too far guys now. Okay. Som tu. Okay, let's get to the cover. Cool. This one's starting to encircle me, but that should be cool. Okay. Som tu. This one is Okay, running there. Okay, the banner charge. Cool, that, that worked. So now we have just one enemy left. Mm. You're doing well. <laughs> so I'll try to encircle them. And yeah, they may be surprised from behind. Nemali by červený ponúknuť dedinčanom pomoc? Ano, je to divné. Možná jim někdo řekl, že jsme tady. Nebo možná chtěli všem ukázat, co se stane, když si v téhle občanské válce nevyberou tu správnou stranu. Kapitán Langer bude vědět, co dál. Už jdeme. So yeah, in the end, the mission was really quite easy. Like uh, there was just one call, but it was surprising to see uh, how it actually unwind. Uh, like uh, I, I was lucky that I have such a big squad with me. Lucky, yeah. <laughs> or prepared, yes. Mm. Okay, so now I just need to leave the mission. You're done. Mm. Everyone's I there. Mean, everyone, everyone is almost on full health, so I think you did great. <laughs> yeah, like I played the game before. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so I heard. Oh. Ah, cool. Those two got promoted already. Uh, so, who deserved the medal? Hmm, I don't know. Does Dominic deserve a medal? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> or the work in the chat? Definitely he does. Yeah. yeah. Also, I'll... or better, maybe. Yeah, sure. Okay. And anyone more? I don't know. You decide about the last one. I think that Antonina really helped uh, at, the uh, at the at the hill uh, when they were attacking. Okay. Like, he helped did it uh, by himself. Yeah, he deserves it. Cool. So I fought everything. I fought everything. That's cool. And even got nice. some resources. Victory! Yay! <laughs> Yay! So I gained the trust of locals. And even got some rank ups, yeah. Great. Uh, based on what do you decide or which attribute points to choose? Uh, based on uh, who actually is the... what's the most beneficial for the soldier, yeah. Because uh, th this way uh, they level up in riflemen, so it really helps them uh, to, to be of higher fitness because they are storming the enemy a lot, for example. Uh, like it really depends on uh, what what's the best uh, for them. Yeah, so the scout uh, now he's tired, but uh, he needs the dexterity a lot, for example, for aiming. Like you always see that it's great for aim real time and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. And now we just need to return to the train. And make sure that uh, they're actually properly healed. Yeah. Okay. This one is the com comfortable living, that's cool, but I'm going to replace this one uh, with uh, Joseph, who's hurt, because that's in the comfortable living, uh, it's going to be much better for them to heal up. Yeah. Okay. And can you heal them like individually? 
by yeah. Yeah, birthdays like, and stuff. Yeah, uh, so uh, that's actually a good good thing. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. I, I completely forgot that I've got the first aid kit over here. So when I just check because uh, I can just use the first aid kit that I bought recently. Yeah, so that deals him a lot. That's a good point. And now I can see all the roles that they already obtained and what levels are they in. Like this overview is really hand handy uh, when it comes to uh, checking uh, the status of the train. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want to see anything more around? I guess that uh, we finished two missions, uh, which was a bit more than we expected uh, in this uh, short period of time. And we even managed to go through some uh, points of interest. Uh, is there anything that people would actually like to know more about? Mm, I think we covered a lot of the questions that appeared in the chat, but yeah, uh, if anything comes up, you can always write us on Discord or via sure. Steam Hub yeah. and we can get back to you, answer everything you want to know. That would be great. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, so I would just like uh, like to repeat that uh, you can play the demo uh, of Love Train Home. You can download it on our Steam page mm -hmm. and like right now because we are part of the Steam Next Fest uh, beginning today. Yeah, feel yeah. free to enjoy the game as much as I do. Yeah, so thank you, Petka, for yeah. playing <laughs> and showing us and something if, of the game. Yeah, and if you enjoy the game, feel free to wish us it. This list it, I guess we announced it's going to be available on 20, 28th of November. So then you can play some more. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Vercha, for okay. all the cool questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, and thanks uh, to everyone who was watching and was asking questions. Thank you very much. And Yay. see you next time. It was a pleasure. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye.